Hello, class. This is Professor Netta. I just wanted to follow up on the marginal analysis assignment from Unit 1. There was a couple students that didn't get the assignment and got a couple of parts of it incorrect, and I just wanted to further clarify. So if you remember from the chapter in the lecture, we talked about um, that optimal decisions are made at the margin. In order to find those optimum decisions or optimal decisions, uh, economists perform what's known as a marginal analysis. And a marginal analysis simply compares marginal cost to marginal revenue. And the rule of thumb is that a company will produce as long as marginal revenue is equal to or greater than marginal cost. Now, in order to properly perform this analysis, both marginal revenue and marginal cost need to be calculated in the same way. Now, both marginal cost and marginal revenue can be calculated in two ways. The first is by total cost, and the second is by cost per unit. Now, if you're calculating marginal cost or marginal revenue in totality, and then calculating the other by unit, one is always going to be greater than the other. So in order to, to accurately perform a marginal analysis, both marginal cost and marginal revenue need to be calculated using the same calculation. Now, we will, I will walk you through how to calculate marginal cost and marginal revenue, both in total and by unit. First, let's take a look at how to calculate marginal cost or total marginal cost. And it's simply taking the total cost of option B and subtracting the total cost of option A to get the marginal or extra cost from a production run. Now let's take a look at this in practice. Let's say we have three options. Option 1, option 2, option 3. And in option 1, we could produce 100 units at a cost of $10 per unit. And that gives us a total cost of $1,000. Our marginal or extra cost is simply going to be our total cost of 1000 since our prior run or option zero will be zero. Otherwise, you could leave this, this option or this blank as not applicable, as was your assignment. So let's look at option two. Option two doubles the production run to 200, halves the total cost, which is a thousand dollars. Our marginal cost here is simply the amount of total cost in option two minus the total cost in option one. In this case would be zero. Let's say that we could produce 300 units at a cost of four dollars each which gives us twelve hundred dollar total cost the marginal cost for option three is taking the total cost of option three, 1,200, minus the total cost of option two, which is 1,000, which gives us a marginal cost of $200. Now, let's look how to calculate marginal cost by unit. The calculation for marginal cost by unit is the change in cost or total marginal cost as the numerator which we calculated divided by the change signified as delta or triangle in the quantity so since option number one is not applicable and option number two is zero let's disregard those and calculate marginal cost per unit for option number three now we know that total marginal cost, our numerator, is going to be $200. Now, we have to find our change in units from 2 to 3, which is simply 300 minus 200, or 100 units. 200 divided by 100 
is equal to 1. So our marginal cost per unit is going to be $1. So that's how you calculate marginal cost on a total and on a unit basis. Marginal revenue follows a similar methodology to calculate it both on a, a total and on a per unit basis. So first let's take a look at marginal revenue or total marginal revenue which is just basically the change in revenue from option two from option one and it's calculated just by taking your total revenue of your second option subtracting the total revenue from your first option to calculate marginal revenue by unit you just take the revenue from the second option subtract it from or subtract the revenue from the first option and as we did with marginal cost divide that number by the change in units or the production run in option number two and subtract out the option run from production run number one or option number one now in economics and finance terms we use the Greek symbol delta or the triangle to signify a change which means an addition or subtraction from one option to the next much like an option number one we will set up a grid with three different production options with a quantity a price per unit a total revenue and then a marginal revenue. So if we use the same production numbers in options one, two, and three as you do with marginal cost, we have 100, 200, 300 units at a price of 15, 10, and 8. We have total revenue of 15 times 100 of 1,500, 200 times 10 or 2,000, and 300 times 8 of 2,400. We can now use these figures to calculate marginal revenue. We know that the marginal revenue for option number one is going to be non-applicable that the marginal revenue for option number two is going to be 2,000 minus 1,500 which is equal to 500 and that we could do the same calculation for option three 2,400 minus 2,000 gives us $400 now in order to calculate marginal cost per, per unit we just divide this by the change in units which is 100 for each option so marginal cost per unit for option number two was going to be five and marginal cost for per unit for option number three is going to be equal to four now do you see the error in calculating one column either marginal cost and marginal revenue by unit and the other in total one will always be greater than the other you're comparing apples and oranges and you if you were in a professional setting you would be making the wrong decision you would be wasting resources and you would be inefficient so if the rule of thumb is to calculate where marginal cost up to the point where marginal cost equals marginal revenue you would never be at that point because one would always be greater than the other so they each need to be calculated on the same basis either in total or by unit so comparing our marginal cost to our marginal revenue we can then determine an optimal decision making or an optimal production run so if we take our marginal cost and our, from our previous example our marginal revenue and we track those numbers in we could see that marginal revenue is always greater than marginal cost so if we were a company we would always choose the highest number of, pro of production up until the point where marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue.